Today's Black History Month movie review is The Best Man, directed by Malcolm D. Lee, starring Tay Diggs, Nia Long, Morris Chestnut, and Sanaa Lathan, released in 1999. Harper Stewart is a young man living in Chicago who is about to hit the big time professionally. His debut novel, ominously titled Unfinished Business, has been selected by Oprah's Book Club. He has a beautiful and devoted girlfriend, Robin, and his best friend, Lance, is getting married on the weekend in New York. In an early scene with Harper and Robin lounging in the tub, it becomes clear that all is not well. Robin merely sighs contentedly and idly mentions that she could stay like this forever. For Harper, life is just beginning, and he feels that committing to a woman now that he is on the verge of success will be a death knell for him. To complicate matters further, Harper's new book, which is autobiographical, has fallen into the wrong hands. Jordan, an old woulda, coulda, shoulda flame of Harper's, has read an advanced copy that seems to be working its way through Harper's inner circle. Coincidentally, the other members of the wedding party. It was never intended by Harper for the group of friends to read the book prior to the wedding weekend. But with Jordan being in the position that she is at work, she is able to get an advanced copy. That copy is then passed around amongst the friends and eventually makes its way to Lance, which Harper tries to prevent from reading the book. In the novel are several unsavory fictionalized characterizations of Harper's real life friends during their college years. These friends all take it in good stride when they talk to Harper face to face, but their hurt causes at least one of them to want to teach Harper a lesson. Jordan learns that Harper's book is unbashedly flattering in its portrayal of a character based on her, however, and she decides to test the waters with Harper at this vulnerable stage. On the eve of the wedding, at the bachelor party, Harper tries to prevent Lance from reading the book at the disgust of Quentin. And during the debauchery of the bachelor party, Merch met and falls in love with one of the strippers dancing at the bachelor party. Once Lance reads the book, there is pressure on the group to make sure that the wedding between Lance and Mia still takes place even with the help of Robin. Through faith and prayer, the wedding goes on, but the friendship of Lance and Harper and the relationship of Harper and Robin is in questions until Harper gives the speech of the best man during the wedding toast. It is after that at the reception, with the assurance of Jordan, that Harper proposes to Robin. It is later revealed that after the wedding, Quentin and Shelby, who was Merch's girlfriend, may have slept with each other. <laughs>